Hey everybody, Matt the Garden Guy here. So coming in my kitchen here, I like to show you guys things that I make from things from my garden. So here I got beet leaves with a beet on it. I got some of my basil and a garlic. So these three items are from my garden. I'm gonna use other things that are not from my garden, just like the oils, the salt, um, and the, the, the nuts. So let's go ahead and grab our beet leaves. What we need to do is we need to blanch our beet leaves. Basically, we're gonna get a pot of water, we're gonna boil it, put our beet leaves in there for about two minutes, and then transfer them into a bowl of icy water. As your water is boiling, let's go ahead and cut the leaves off of the beets and as much as the stems, we don't want to use the, um, the stems here. We just really want the leaves. So let's go ahead and cut those off as best as we can. So you cut these, just set them off to the side, not make sure you don't get them mixed up with your basil if you have them on the table as well, like I just did. So now you should have a good hearty handful of beet leaves. Let's go ahead and get these rinsed off before we put them in the water. Also, make sure you save your beets. These taste really, really good in smoothies or shakes. Um, what you want to do is you want to boil these or throw them in your Instapot. So then they'll, they'll, um, they'll cook and then you can just peel the skin right off and then throw them in your smoothie or shakes. Other ingredients you're going to need. I use walnuts. A lot of other recipes call for pine nuts. I like walnuts a lot better. So I use a cup of walnuts, a teaspoon of salt. Like I said, you're going to need your garlic. I do about three garlic cloves. You got your basil and your uh, beet leaves. The last thing you're gonna need is oil. Um, I'm gonna be using extra virgin olive oil. You also could use avocado oil. Okay, our water just started boiling, so we're gonna go and grab all of our beet leaves. We're gonna throw them in there. Try to push them down. And then what you need to do is grab your garlic and throw your garlic in there as well. This is gonna set for two minutes. After two minutes, we're gonna to need to put it in an ice bath. So go ahead and get a bowl with a bunch of ice, fill up with water, and then we're gonna take all of these and put them in the ice bath. So again, right now we're blanching. So we have a pot of hot water. I have my beet leaves in there and I have my garlic. And then we're gonna go ahead, as soon as it hits two minutes, we're gonna take it out and we're gonna throw it into an ice bath. Okay, so we got about five seconds left. As soon as our timer goes off, we're gonna kill the water. We're gonna put this in here. Make sure we grab, it's going off. Make sure we grab that garlic. So we wanna make sure we have those four garlic cloves. Go ahead and grab your ice bath and put these in here. Try to grab all those beets out. Make sure we grab all the garlic that's in here as well. And then we just want this to cool down. Go ahead and dump the water. We're not gonna need that anymore. So it's gonna be nice to have a food processor that has a hole here on the top. We can dump our oil right in there while it's all blending up. So once our beet leaves have cooled down to touch, we wanna to try to squeeze as much of the water out as possible. As soon as we do, let's throw them over there in our food processor. Make sure we grab our garlic cloves. Remember I put four of them in here. Let's make sure we get those in there too. In my food processor here, I have my beet leaves. I have my garlic. Let's go ahead and add our salt. We're... Let's grab the um, basil that we chopped up. Put that in here. Then lastly, let's go ahead and grab our walnuts. Pour a little bit of the oil in there to start with. And then once you start, once this thing starts uh, processing the stuff up, we're gonna use our access right here to dump it in. And then we're gonna have to check it here and there to check the consistency and see if we like the taste. 
And then we're just gonna go ahead and turn it on. Start it at, let's start it at low here. And add the oil. And I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. Right now, this is the consistency. I still have the chunks of it, so I want to get it. Uh, I want to get it cut up a little bit more. And there we go. After another 30 seconds, check it out, and it is uh, starting to look a lot better. You can see the consistency changed a lot more. I don't have a lot of chunks in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit out. I'm going to go ahead and taste test it. Yep, it's right around where I should be. I'm gonna go ahead and let it run for another 30 seconds. All right, winding down after 30 seconds. On high, we're exactly how it should be. I'll go ahead and show you guys. Get this out. So my pesto, when I make it, I like it to be very creamy looking. Like I said, not a lot of chunks. And then the last thing to do is one of my favorite parts to go ahead and taste test it again. Perfect. I like my pesto to be more nutty. This is right where it should be. Go ahead and tweak it to what works best for you. Hey, thanks for watching this video on how to make pesto with things from your garden. Hey, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. That's the only way that I keep growing. Until next time, keep growing and I'll talk to you later.